Happy fall, y'all. It's that time of year, and I started pulling out my um, Halloween and fall decorations. And so I thought I would share some of them with you. So as you can see, I also have on my little fall gnome shirt. It's got like a little plaid cap and then leaves all over it. It's a long sleeve shirt, so it's a bold choice for September in North Carolina, but I want to be festive. <laughs> so I'm just going to share some of my little like Halloween and fall decorations with you today. And we'll start with the space filler. You can, you can do anything you want with it, but I have like um, a bunch of like little pumpkins and they're like light. I liked the light orange color of this. And then we have like the green and there's also like this minty green pumpkin. And I just thought they were really cute and they had um, blue too. And I really liked the light colors. I had these on um, our kitchen table last year. This is when I got these was last year from a store called Kirkland's. I love Kirkland's. And they also had these cute little like buffalo plaid pumpkins. And um, last year I kind of did a little bit of um, buffalo plaid in our kitchen area. I switched over to like kind of some um, like farmhousey themed decorations and I changed out our curtains to buffalo plaid and these are really like, cute. Little cute buffalo plaid pumpkin in a little orange, green, and blue. I really like them. And they also have like pine cones. There's some little pine cones and big pine cones. And then leaves, of course. Okay. The leaves have not started to change um, around here. It will probably be more of um, October, November around here where I live. But I love fall. Fall is one of my very favorite seasons. Also going with the buffalo plaid is this little sign and it says happy Halloween. Happy. And the Halloween part is like black glitter, which is really special. Gives it that extra pop. And it's just like hollow on the back. And you just pop it up. This also came from Kirkland's last year. So next. We have this adorable little cookie jar and it's got this smiling pumpkin and this very sweet ghost on the top and he is surrounded by candy corn and he is nibbling on a piece of candy corn. This is a Christopher Racco piece. I've had it for several years. I got it at a local store that has like a lot of booths and they have a big holiday section too. And I just loved it so much. It has a lot of like vintage feel vibes character to me. I don't usually put, um, cookies in it. Sometimes I just put like, like some candy or something in it. It's mostly just there for decoration though. So 
So the next thing I have is this really cool like Halloween advent calendar. It's like completely made of felt and it has a big haunted house on it. It's up at the top. It has Happy Halloween written out. It's embroidered on there. And then the big haunted house has all these little pockets where you can like put treats. The only thing about this is like it really doesn't hold much. Like it's good for maybe a sucker, like a dum-dum or something because it, the pockets are super small. But my son was like less than enthused by the thought of just like having like dum-dum. <laughs> I can't really blame him. Um, he's an M&M's guy. But uh, yeah, like you can fit in a couple of them and then let's see. So yeah, I actually ordered this from Zoo Willy about like maybe six or seven years ago now. And we hang it up in our kitchen in October to count down Halloween. I think what I'm gonna have to do is like put like little numbered popsicle sticks in these and then like you can take out the popsicle stick and like cash it in for some kind of candy. Because <laughs> literally you cannot fit like very much of anything in it, but I just love the way it looks. It's very fun. So next we have this little night light. Um, it's so fun. And um, it has one of those flicker flame bulbs in it. So it just has this like spooky kind of flickering glow when you um, plug it in. But it's so fun. And um, it's just a haunted house. And it has like this little pumpkin here and little ghosts popping out of it. And then here, <laughs> the little bat is like on a spring. And then there's like just some, like another pumpkin here, another pumpkin there. And then we have like a skull up here in the window. I think it's neat. I got this at the same place that I got the little pumpkin um, ghost cookie jar. They just have like a lot of unique stuff. Very glittery. So next we have this cute little kitten and he is sitting here with a pumpkin, a jack-o'-lantern. And he has a bulb inside him that is orange. So his eyes and the pumpkin's face light up orange. I'm trying to see if you can see that. Yeah, kind of. So he's cute. Um, he's been around since I was a kid, I think. Um, he was at my house growing up and I have him now in my house. I always thought he was really cute. Oh, he's so cute. He look like across his little, the little pumpkin face. This has got like little, little dots right there. He's sweet. So next, I have this really cool haunted house. Sound of the roof. It's like a ceramic piece. And this has been around since I was a kid too. I want to say my mom probably got this when I was maybe in kindergarten. Um, and it still has a sticker on it. It's actually... I don't know if you may remember this store. It is from Wakama. Wakama, 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 Wakama Pottery. And it lights up. It just doesn't like to stick in there very well, so it's a bit separate. And I basically just put it 
on top, put the house on top of the light, wherever it's going to be sitting for the season. And it's very cute. It lights up. Okay, this is the last little thing I have. And this is a um, Halloween Pooh Bear Pumpkin Jack-o'-lantern. I'm not gonna plug him in because my voice cord's really short, so I can't get to the little outlet. But he's so fun. I got him at Walgreens like several years ago. Probably like 10 years ago now or so at least. Uh, but he's held up really well. He's just cute. I love pooping. These cute little ears. Okay, that's everything I have to share today. I really appreciate you watching so much. And I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day or your night and a very good sleep. I see you next time.